Hi, this is Rich Jones, and I'm going to take you through a quick walkthrough of your system configuration and a basic use example of the Run and Plus module for Stata. You can find other resources on the web at lvmworkshop.org and look for the Run and Plus stuff link on the left. First, I want to show you the uh, do file I'm going to use in Stata to check my configuration. I'm going to look at my profile.do. I'm going to look at my path settings. <coughs> I'm going to confirm my path settings. <coughs> and then I'm going to run a example of Run and Plus using the auto data set that ships with Stata. And I'm going to show you some of the aspects of the output from Run and Plus. I'm going to switch to a version of this do file that has some annotations. We're going to use view source to look at our profile.do. Inside the profile.do, we should set the M plus path. If you haven't set your M plus path in your profile.do, you should do it. You don't need to, but it's a good idea. Um, <coughs> here we're going to look at our Windows path. This, uh, this exclamation point runs as a system command path and we're going to pipe it to a text file and then we're going to type that text file to the screen. Um, there are instructions for how to set your Windows path at the um, statmodel.com website in system requirements. Then we're going to clean things up and then we're going to make sure our global settings in the profile that do match what's in the path statement. Then we're going to change to a working directory. I put a lot of my junk work in CWORK syntax. We're going to call up the auto data set that ships with Stata. And we're going to run a simple confirmatory factor analysis in M plus using the run M plus module. Take a look at the results and look at some of the saved results that run M plus gives you back in your Stata environment. And then finally we'll look at the run M plus help file. Um, you'll notice that I'm running this do file from a text editor called TextPad, and um, you can search the web for strategies on how to link text editors with Stata. Anyway, I'm going to run these, this first block of code here. I'm going to highlight this and run it using some tools I've set up. Oh, in another window I have window I have Stata started up. I've actually already run because my profile.do which runs automatically when you start Stata. Uh, my profile.do sends a little message to me that it's running a particular profile. So now this is the result of the view source profile.do Mine's a little bit complicated. Here's when I send that note that I'm running the Gibson profile. And the thing that's important here is the setting of the M plus path, which is set to this value, which is the address of the M plus executable. And it's important to use the short file name the 8.3 path format when specifying the path to your M plus program. I use a couple of different pro, uh, computers so I have other uh, other path statements so Zen refers to another computer. Also I keep my old installs of M plus so if I want to run something in M plus 6 or M plus 3 or in the demo version, I, uh, I can have the global settings to those specific installations. But that's a little beyond us right now. All you really need for general use is M plus path set. So I'm going to close that. Let's go back to my command file. 
now that we're going to check our Windows path, so um, this exclamation point path runs a DOS command to print the path and pipe it to a text file called pathis.txt. And now we're going to type it to the screen. And inside my path settings, I should have um, the M plus um, folder specified. And here's, uh, here's the demo specified in the path. And here's the M plus path specified over here. It wraps over from the previous line. You can get more information on how to set your path to accommodate M plus on the statmodel.com website. Um, I'm going to clean up after myself, so I'm going to erase that text file. Now I'm going to look at what my st Stata environment thinks the M plus path is as set in my profile.do. And it's going to print back the value that I told in the profile.do as a text string. and that doesn't actually, that tells me what the global macro setting is, but not whether or not it really exists. So now I'm going to use this dir command to make sure that it really exists. And yes, here there's a file called mplus.exe that fits this address. So I'm in good shape. So that, with those environment settings, you should be in good shape for using run and plus. I'm going to show you a basic use example. First thing I want to do is change to a working directory using the cd command. Change to a folder where you would like your input and output files stored and maybe even where the data might be located that you're working on. And I'm going to move to a folder called cwork syntax. I'm going to use the um, auto data set that ships with Stata. And then I'm going to run a run and plus command. I'm going to run a confirmatory factor analysis model using the car size variables from the auto data set. So we're going to look at headroom, trunk, weight, and length. And the model statement specifies the CFA model have a latent variable called f measured by headroom, trunk, weight, and length. And I'm going to ask for standardized output. That's going to be particularly helpful because these variables are on very different scales. Let's take a look. I'll show you. So normally I would do some work to try to get the variances of these variables on a similar scale. Sometimes n plus has a hard time and the variance is on very different scales. So let's run this. So that's what a good run and plus looks like. You get that little blue screen that lets you know the DOS command has been called and the results of the output file dump back to your screen. Um, so you'll see this little green message that the model estimation terminated normally. Run M plus just searches through the output and looks for this line to appear in the M plus output. And if it sees it, it throws it back to the screen. Um, here's our uh, output file. We're running a run an M plus analysis with 74 observations and four dependent variables, one continuous latent variable using the default estimator. We have no missing data. We've got our model fit statistics. We've got a particularly lousy model by RMSEA. Let's see. Sorry for 
jumping around. Here's our parameter estimates. We've got our measurement slopes, intercepts. Then we've got our standardized output. And we've got factor loadings. And let's say this looks like a model where you've got some local dependence among weight and length relative to headroom and trunk volume. Okay, so we've run N plus, we've seen the output. There's some other goodies that you get with run N plus. Let's see what they are. We can run return list to see what the saved results are. And after we run run N plus, we have a bunch of saved results. You can use in other analyses or in generating reports. We've got the uh, a bunch of values from the output saved, including fit statistics, sample size, and some parameter matrices. We've got um, estimates and standard errors, for example, and disease statistics. We also see a confidence interval and residual variance matrix which may or may not, and R squared, which may or may have useful values. The CI certainly does not because we didn't ask for confidence intervals in the output. And you can see what's in those matrices by running a mat list. And so here we have a matrix where we've stored all of the parameter estimates extracted from the output. So here are the measurement slopes the standardized ones, the fully standardized ones are down here. This is very handy for generating tables and making reports. And finally, if you want to know more about using Run Plus, you can always look at the help file. And as always, the bottom of the help file. You can find my email. Send me an email with questions you might have. Alright, good luck to you. Enjoy running plus.